guys, there is a white tip reef shark just below us. Now I've seen a black tip and a white tip. This is just incredible. Hello everybody, this is me and welcome to one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef. So I'm here in Australia, I've actually been filming over in Adelaide for the Australian three day event which was just absolutely incredible and then while I was in South Australia I actually hopped over to Kangaroo Island and if you know me I love all things animals and wildlife so while I was over there of course I saw some kangaroos, some koalas, some wombats and some seals as well which was just absolutely fantastic to see so if you haven't seen that video be sure to check that one out after this one. So now I've had a bit of a journey to get here. I'm on an island about 70 kilometers away from the mainland um, on the Great Barrier Reef of course and to get here yeah it was a bit of a journey. I had to go by helicopter which was my first ever time in a helicopter. It was amazing because you got to see the views of the beaches and the Great Barrier Reef but it was a little bit dodgy like I've never been in a helicopter before and it seems a little bit strange to be in this sort of metal box really high up in the sky which is basically just powered by a propeller so it was a little bit scary but the views were just incredible as well while I'm here on the island I'm gonna be doing lots of snorkeling I absolutely love swimming and hopefully while I'm snorkeling around I'll see lots of fish apparently they have some black tip reef sharks here so I'd love to be able to swim with them and of course turtles because I don't know if any of you guys sort of are my age but I grew up watching Finding Nemo so I feel like I'm gonna be swimming around and being like oh, that's a Nemo fish <laughs> or a clownfish but yeah so um, um, I'm going to take you to tomorrow morning where I'm going to be waking up at 5am to hopefully, fingers crossed, see some turtles. Okay everyone, I'm speaking quite quietly because it's currently 5am in the morning, the sun is just rising and I'm just having a little morning sort of beach walk and we have seen so many turtles already. So there's this little track here from the ocean that's going up the beach and at first it kind of looks like a tyre track or some sort of, I don't know, construction machinery track but it's actually from the um, female turtles who during the night have gone all the way up the beach to lay their eggs. So I've got to be quiet and I've got to be still because behind me there's a female that's just laid her eggs during the night and she's now on her way back to the ocean. However, because the tide's all the way out, there's currently sort of a reef or some rocks kind of here that's in the way. So she's either going to have to go over the rocks and struggle for a little bit or she's going to have to wait for the ocean to come back in and for her to then be able to get over the rocks via the water. So we'll see. Wow, she really is a try, this one. She has managed to go over the rocks and she's almost there to the ocean. She's now made it over the rocks, so she's now got an easy slide down into the ocean. So that was just absolutely brilliant to watch. Yesterday, last night, we actually came for a little beach walk. You have to be really careful, we're given this sort of like pamphlet all about um, the turtles laying their eggs, knowing not to get too close and don't use really bright lights. And also that in our rooms, we had to make sure that our curtains were drawn if we had our lights on because turtles are so sensitive to light because they use the moon to sort of guide where they're going in the moonlight. Um, so last night, obviously we couldn't film because it was too dark, but we actually saw some of the turtles laying their eggs which was just oh my goodness just in absolutely incredible so it was also really magical to be able to watch it today as well with them coming back into the ocean so last night the turtles would have come up onto the beach during the high tide to go and lay their eggs but because turtles live almost all of their life in the ocean and in water they're not really adapted for land so this is kind of a strange time for them especially as we saw earlier with that turtle sort of clambering over the rocks slightly struggling but that girl she really 
had some willpower and she was like, nope, I'm going over these rocks, I'm going to get back to the ocean. So yeah, that was just absolutely fantastic. So as it's really early now for us this morning, it's perfect time to do some snorkeling. So yesterday we went snorkeling at this time, we saw so many rays, so fingers crossed we see some more today as well. I've had an absolutely amazing snorkel today. We actually saw a turtle and loads of rays as well. So now I'm just going for a little walk around the island. The island probably takes about 10 minutes to do a whole circle around. It's very small. There's only about a handful of people here. And as you can probably hear, there are a lot of birds. There are over 120,000 black knotty terns. So you can see quite a few in the background. So the black knotty terns are currently nesting in this Pisonia forest. So we can see the females that are laying some eggs. We've also seen lots of different behavior with the males as well, because they've been collecting some of the leaves, offering them to the females. And some of the females have actually been rejecting them because the leaves aren't wet enough. So they're not good enough for the nest for sort of shaping it to the nest. So we've actually seen some of the males pick up some of the leaves and actually go and dunk them into the sea or into the water to make them a little bit more um, wet. So then they're better for the nest. So that's been quite interesting to see. Some other behavior that we've also seen from the black noddy turns that they've been baking. So what they do is they literally just go out, put all their feathers out and just sit in the sun. And this makes them get so hot because they're black. And then um, this means that all of the parasites that are on them literally fry or bake, so they die. So it gets rid of all the parasites. And the reason why their heads are actually white is because if they were black, their brain would get ride from the heat which is not great so uh, that's why also these trees they do offer shelter and where the birds make their nests but they're also carnivorous when you think of carnivorous plants you think of venus fly traps but these guys do it a little bit different so they have these sort of um, seeds or sort of sticky kind of berries and if the black noddy turns get stuck in them, or some of the other birds as well, it means that they can't fly, they can't move away, and they literally get trapped and they starve. And then the trees use their nutrients to um, grow even more. So it's all the circle of life, really. We've also seen some other birds on this island. So we've seen some rails, which are honestly my favorite because they're so small and petite. And I just think they're so adorable. They're also kind of brown and speckledy, and they remind me a little bit of my chicken snickers back at home in England. Um, so these rails, they're actually kind of more adapted to the ground. Although they can fly, they don't tend to nest in trees. They actually tend to kind of burrow and go in between the roots of the trees, the sort of like hiding places. They tend to be more where the humans are as well because rails um, have to drink sort of fresh water like we do compared to the black noddies who can desalinate water and literally get their water from the sea. So I've just got back from my second snorkel of the day and we got to go on a boat, go all the way out to the outer reef and it was just so beautiful. We saw so many different types of fish, different types of coral and we were so lucky to see such a healthy reef that was thriving really. When unfortunately that isn't the case in all places with climate change and the seas getting warmer, it's causing a lot of coral bleaching so a lot of the coral and the reefs are dying and in 2016 about 29% of the reef was lost. 
So we are so fortunate to be here on the Great Barrier Reef on an area with such a healthy reef and just to see so much of this just natural beauty. So also while I'm here, I'm actually on a reef walk at the moment, which we do have permission to do as in a lot of places you're not allowed to do this. So we're really lucky that there's quite a little different patches where there's sand. So you have to be really careful not to walk on any of the corals because obviously we don't want that to happen. That's not gonna be very good um, damaging any anything. So we're being very careful not to walk on anything and just being able to observe so close some of the corals especially as at the moment the tide is all the way out it's all the way out there so the sea level is very low right now and we've seen lots of really cool stuff we've seen some starfishes seen lots of sea cucumbers and also while we've been here we've seen an epaulette shark which is pretty cool because what it can do is it can basically shut off its brain and um, when the sea level is really low because the tide's out it can just sort of mooch around walk around on top of the reef almost out of water really and yeah so that was so cool to see actually when we were filming this right now there was one just standing right next to me just chilling and because it's so well camouflaged I didn't even realize it was there until like 10 minutes after standing here so that was just so awesome to see okay so my time here in Australia on the island and by the Great Barrier Reef has now come to a close I've had such an incredible time I've seen so much wildlife and I think some of my highlights have to be seeing the turtles on the beach laying the eggs also going out snorkeling just seeing absolutely everything the um, black tip reef sharks all of the fish i think the parrot fish are one of my favorites they just look so cute with their little beaks and also obviously all of the birds the little rails they're just so adorable scuttling around actually the other day when i was having my sandwich one of them jumped up and like took it out of my hand so they're a little bit cheeky those guys and obviously um, all of the noises of the birds at night it's gonna seem so weird when I go back to England in my own bed and it's just gonna be like silence when I go to sleep so anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe because it really does help me out thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time bye